What's up, everybody? Man, it's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another video, man. <laughs> and today, man, I'm going to give my thoughts on the potential of the Philadelphia Eagles signing Dallas Cowboys cornerback Byron Jones and that Deshaun Jackson has said that in 2020, he going to be back stronger and better than ever, yo. Um, before I get into this video, man, for everyone, if you want to give me a file on Instagram or send me a friend request on Facebook, I'm going to have my Instagram and my Facebook information down in the description box. Uh, come give me a file on the gram. Come send me a request on the book. Come holler at your boy, yo. <laughs> um, first, man, on um, Byron Jones, yo. Me personally, let me say this, man. I'm not for signing former Cowboys. You know, I dealt with the whole DeMarco Murray situation. I dealt with the whole Orlando Skandrick situation. And it just, you know, for me, it just seems like those type of guys are so infatuated on getting back at the Dallas Cowboys to where it's not like I want to come to Philly and just really help, you know, Philly win the Super Bowl. It's like I want to show Dallas that they miss me and they still need me. You know what I'm saying? That's the the impressions I get from, from former Cowboys. Okay, but now taking, you know, that out of it, <laughs> you know, and looking at it from um, strictly a football um, stance, I mean, obviously he will help. Um, he's a good, you know, he's not a great corner, but he's a pretty good corner, yo. Um, and when you throw him in the in the um the flux with our young corner, Sidney Jones, who I think this year is a make or break season for him. He's shown potential at times, and at times he's shown that he's not he can't yeah, he could be, you know, unreliable, not only from a healthy standpoint, from actually even producing on the field. So, you know, he had like I see had a couple of good moments late in the season. Maybe that's something that he could build on because like I mentioned, you know, Ronald Darby is a free agent. Jalen Mills is a free agent. I don't expect those guys to be back. And, you know, maybe they might bring Mills back, you know, for like a one year deal or maybe try to see if he could play safety or something like that. But, you know, I don't think those guys will be back at corner. Um, so this is a make or break year for Sidney Jones, yo. Um, this is the year we find out, is he going to be a solid starter for us for the next few years? Or is he going to just be, you know, the guy that after the Achilles injury, after his pro day, just couldn't figure it out with us and he's going to be gone. So if you could have him at one corner, you know, and a potential Byron Jones at the other, you got Craven LeBlanc who is in the slot, who I think is a solid slot corner. Avante Maddis, he kind of had a down year last year um you know towards the end of his rookie year going into the playoffs he was coming on strong as an outside corner but you know he had his struggles last year um but you know at times he you know he shows potential but he's versatile you know you're gonna hang on to him he could play outside corner he could play the slot corner he could even play say his rookie year we used him as safety so you know he's gonna be in the in the flux and then uh you still got Rasul Douglas you know um who looks to me more like a safety. He's To me, he's too slow to really cover receivers consistently, but he has very, very good ball skills. Um, maybe he just got to bulk up a little bit and get a little more sure as a tackler, and then he could be, you know, a long-term solution, you know, as safe though at least, you know, as that third safety role that we like to play a lot. So um, Byron Jones, yo, he would help, man. Um, he would cost us, but it wouldn't be... It wouldn't be substantial amount of money. He's still pretty young. Um, he's coming off of his rookie contract. So just as far as a skill, as skill wise, you know, he will help the team, man. So, but but personally, he a former cowboy. So it's one of them situations. If we get him, cool. If we don't, cool. I'm good either way. Um, and when you look at Deshaun Jackson, man, he um recently said he was out over at an XFL game in LA and said that, hey, I'm gonna be back better and stronger than ever. Um, you know, that sounds good, and I to a certain extent I believe him, but the Eagles, we gotta address our, our deep threat situation, yo. Um, if Deshaun could play next year and produce and stay relatively healthy, great. But, you know, I can't sit there and put all my eggs in the basket expecting him, you know, to play a full 16 game season, you know, and, you know, just produce, you know, on a, a very high level. Um, I think, you know, like me, I've been a very high advocate of getting Henry Ruggs the third in the draft. I understand there's guys like Justin Jefferson, who is very well polished. 
Um, but I just feel like we need that deep threat, man, to, um, you know, we could sign a guy like a Brashard Perriman and free agent to be like the 50-50 ball receiver. Me personally, I, I know he, I think Greg Ward at least earned the opportunity to get one more season at least as a slot receiver. If we could get another deep threat, a 50-50 ball guy, now we got the Deshaun Jackson and another deep threat. Now we got JJ Ortega Whiteside and another 50 50 ball receiver. Greg Ward in the slot. I think we all right. And maybe draft another slot guy later in one of the later rounds. I think we'll be okay. Um, you know, but Deshaun saying he's going to be back stronger than ever. I, I like to hear that because at worst case scenario, it would be good at worst case scenario we have him healthy. It's just that I can't expect that out of him, yo, especially he's 33 years old, yo. Um, but good to hear, man. Wentz needs a deep threat out there. When Wentz had Torres Smith out there, he was the MVP of the league before that ACL. You know what I'm saying? Week one last year when he had a healthy Deshaun out there, Wentz was spectacular out there. So Wentz needs that deep threat, and I feel like for us to reassure he has that, yes, we'll have Deshaun Jack Jackson back, but we also need his heir apparent on the roster as well. You know, somebody that could play when he's injured, somebody that could play whenever he's gone. Oh, I mean, hey, you could do like Kansas City, have packages where they had Tyreek Hill and Mikael Hartman out there. We could have packages where we got Deshaun and the new deep threat out there on the field at the same time. So I definitely think we got to address that situation. But good to hear that he's feeling good and that he's ready to at least prove, you know, critics wrong. yo. Um, But with that being said, man, that's all I got for y'all today. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Go on, hit the like button for your boy and give me a subscribe, man. I'm going to have Philadelphia Eagles and NFL content throughout the year. Also, this coming Tuesday at 6 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Central, 3 p.m. Pacific. I'm going to do a live Q&A. Y'all can come on there, ask me anything, tell me anything. I'll answer your questions, respond to your comments, and give you a shout out on the live, yo. Uh, y'all should come join me. It'll be some good stuff. Until then, yo, y'all have a blessed one. Fly, Eagles, fly.